the most important and common cause of high potassium levels in your blood is kidney disease however there are many conditions where you can get a uh, lab report of high potassium levels without actually having it uh, let us try to learn what are those reasons the main reasons are one uh, tourniquet is usually used to collect blood if tourniquet is kept for long that is more than 1 minute then it may cause hemoconcentration and cause false elevation of potassium in your blood sample. 2. If, uh, if the blood is collected in a syringe and a, a small bore needle is used uh, a forceful push uh, of blood to a tube may cause hemolysis and thereby causing false elevation of potassium in your blood sample. 3. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, everybody uses alcohol swab for disinfecting your uh, skin uh, before collecting the blood. So if uh, the alcohol is not dried properly, if the place is not dried properly, the alcohol can mix with the blood and cause hemolysis and cause false elevation of potassium in your blood sample. Uh, 4. High temperature and delayed uh, processing of sample can cause exhaustion of ATP in your blood sample and uh, inaction of sodium potassium pump. This may cause leakage of potassium from the cells and cause false elevation of potassium in your blood sample. Fifth, if blood is collected uh, from the same arm when uh, an IV fluid is going on, then uh, the IV fluid may contaminate the blood sample and cause false elevation of potassium. Sixth, uh, usually whenever WBC increases, the, the, that means white blood cell count increases in malignancies and, and, uh, and in many other uh, conditions, the leakage of potassium from these cells into the blood may cause false elevation of potassium. Uh, so these are the main reasons for false elevation of potassium. Please keep all these reasons in your mind before interpreting any high potassium value report. Thank you.